The Mental Capacity Act 2005. The Five Key Principles. The Mental Capacity Act is a law about supporting and protecting vulnerable people who are unable to make their own decisions. It applies to people aged 16 and over and makes clear who can take decisions, in which situations and how they should go about this. We all have problems making decisions from time to time, but the Mental Capacity Act is about more than that. It is specifically designed to cover situations where someone is unable to make a decision because of the way their mind or brain works is affected, for example by illness or disability or the effects of drugs or alcohol. The Act is underpinned by five key principles. The aim of these principles is to protect people who lack capacity and to help them take part as much as possible in decisions that affect them. They're there to assist and support people to make particular decisions and not to restrict or control their lives. 1. All adults have the right to make decisions for themselves unless it can be shown that they are unable to make it. This means that people must not assume that someone cannot make decisions for themselves just because they have a particular medical condition or disability or because they are of a particular age or appearance. 2. Everyone should be given all the help and support they need to make a decision before anyone concludes that they cannot make their own decision. This means that everyone helping to care for someone must make an effort to provide all the necessary information in a way the person can understand and then make it easy for them to try and explain their preferences. This may be through different ways of communicating. For example, it may be easier for a person to understand something presented with pictures or sign language. 3. People are allowed to make what we might think is an unwise or eccentric decision. We cannot say that the person does not have the capacity to make the decision because we think the decision is unwise. Many people make unwise decisions, but this alone does not mean that they lack capacity to make decisions for themselves. 4. Any actions taken or decisions made on behalf of someone who lacks capacity must be done in their best interests after considering what is known about their preferences. It is essential to involve the person wherever possible in making the decision. 5. The final principle of the Act is to make sure that people who lack capacity are not restricted unnecessarily. When making a decision for someone who lacks capacity, you must consider what course of action will interfere the least with the freedoms and rights of that person. These principles must be considered by any person caring for or working with a person who may find decision making difficult. They are set out in law and must be followed.